everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am going to be testing out some new makeup, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome. We are going to be doing a full face today. I am beyond excited. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to take a damp Morphe sponge and I'm going to apply, uh, this is Milani foundation. We are just going to apply just a little bit. I'm going to be applying this on my eyelid to prep my eyes for eyeshadow. So I did apply already a little bit of primer. So we are going to just do this real quick. So this step is optional. You can apply concealer, but what I like to do is I, I just like to apply my foundation. I feel like it's a lot easier and quicker. I'm going to set the eye with just a little bit of powder. So what I'm going to do is just take a regular eyeshadow brush. In here I have just a little bit of powder, if you can see it. And I'm just going to tap off the excess like so and just brush that all over just to set When doing this, you don't really need a lot because like I said, you're just setting the foundation so that it doesn't move anywhere. Now, if you watched my last video, I had unboxed some new products that I recently purchased. And like I said, you are going to be seeing one in this video and I am beyond excited to use it. This is the 9K Morphe palette. And here are the shades. They are beyond beautiful. So we have a couple dark shades, we have a couple neutral, and then two shimmers. So the first color we are going to be starting off with, I feel we should do, let's do this shade right here. It's kind of like an orangey peachy color. I'm going to use the Morphe R39 brush. And with this, all we are going to do is we are going to apply this in the crease. The natural crease. And you can apply as much as you would like, but I tend to just apply a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of a fluffier brush. This is the Morphe R37. And I'm going to go into a darker shade so let's see how about we use we're going to use this color right here we're not going to use a lot we're just going to use just a tad so just tap off the excess and what we're going to do with this color is it's going to go in the crease but it's going to basically deepen out that crease color that we already applied so you can kind of see it i know it's hard to see and we're just going to go back over that and just deepen the color a little So do you already see how it's just a little bit darker? Now I do like to have mine up just a little bit more. And then we are going to take the same brush that we used to apply just that lighter color and we are gonna go in with, hmm, we're gonna go in this with this pretty green. That looks really pretty. We are gonna apply that at the outer edge. Ooh, look at that color. Tell me that is not pretty. Ooh, that is really pretty. And we're just going to pat that like so. And then 
I'm just blend that out on the edge and I'm going to take the other brush and just blend that in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of concealer on my brush. This is the Wet n Wild. I'm going to take just a little dab of that. I'm going to place it on the eyelid. I know this looks crazy. Now for this I'm going to be using the Morphe M432. It's a flat brush. And we're just going to just take it. Now with this, we're kind of only going about halfway. It's almost, you could think of like a moon shape. We're not doing it all the way, only halfway. Now with this, what I like to do is I like to apply a shimmer color. So I think what we're going to use is we're gonna use this really pretty. It kind of is more, it's a copper tone. And then we're just going to apply that. Those colors are pretty. So I will be right back and we are going to do the same thing to this eye. As you can see, I know it looks crazy, but the other eye is done. Gotta have a little bit of coffee. So all I did off camera is I applied just a little bit more of the shimmery shade. Now what I like to do finish my eyeshadow is I like to just clean it up just a little bit. I like doing my eyeshadow like this just because depending on how much product you grab, if you end up not dusting it off, you can get fallout and then it just kind of sticks in with your foundation and I absolutely do not like that. So I like doing this step. For eyeliner, we are going to be using the Wet n Wild Liquid Liner. So what I like to do, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I like to just hold the end of my eye and kind of stretch it out so I can get a better line, so. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Sorry for the mess. Oh my goodness, I will never do eyeliner again off camera because that was stressful. Now on to the skin. I'm so excited for this. So we are going to be doing, we are going to be using the Milk Pro Primer. This is a 
product that I unboxed last week, so I'm beyond excited to try this. I'm just going to use my fingers to go ahead and rub that in. Feels really good, it doesn't feel sticky. I'm gonna give that a minute. Now for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I know this looks like a lot, <laughs> but I tend to apply just a little bit more because I like a more full coverage foundation. As always, when you apply foundation, I know this looks so silly. Look at my lips. Always make sure to get your neck and your ears. <laughs> we are going to be using the Milk Makeup Bronzer. So when taking this off, you're gonna have to roll it up. So while I was taking it off, I kinda took the top off, but that's okay. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you line it up with your ear. We're just going to apply just a little bit. We're not going to apply too much. I will say though, when applying this to the skin, it's very smooth, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to take Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend that in like so. I already love this product. It feels so good on my skin. It was so easy to blend, which is one thing that I always look for when blending, especially concealer, because sometimes it can be a little bit hard. <laughs> so next we are going to do concealer. And for blush, we are going to be using the Incredible. This is a cream blush. This one is just a little bit harder to put onto the skin. I'm sure you can see. Gotta press it really hard to get the product there. And if you need to, just apply a little bit more. We are going to be using the Milk Makeup Highlighter. This is more of a bronzy, it looks kind of more like the bronze I have on my eyes. It's really pretty. This 
this highlighter, highlighter is kind of dull. I would want a little bit more of a pop, but that's okay. I want a nice, so it's really nice. As you can see, I'm just using a blender to put all these products on. I feel like it's a lot more convenient when, when you can stick to one tool when doing your makeup. I'm going to apply just a little bit of the ColourPop highlight just over top of that to give it more of a shine. Oh, wow. Now look at it. I feel like that just kind of, that was like a base for the actual highlighter. Wow, that is really pretty. It's optional, you don't have to do that step. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. I'm going to just prep my eyelashes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. <laughs> We're going to be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This also came in my box as well. Look at this wand. As you can see, it's nice and thick. It coats really well. There's no clumps, which is awesome for a mascara. So that was quick, quick coffee break. Now time for lips. I'm going to be using the liquid cat suit. What do we think of this color? Do we like it? Yay, nay. I think it's really pretty. In person, it's more of like a mauve pink, but for some reason up on camera, it's coming up as like a, like a rosy pink. So this is the final look. My skin feels so good. It feels so nice and smooth. And I will say one thing. One thing I love when applying makeup is the base to me is so important. The way your skin feels before you apply that foundation is everything. And in all honesty, I feel like this primer just made my skin feel so nice and soft. And I love how when looking in the camera right now and also having the light on, my skin looks so dewy. I don't know if you guys go for more of like a matte finish or dewy finish. I usually like either or, but if you use any of these products, just know that is more of a dewy look. But by far, I feel like the makeup came out beautifully. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me in today's tutorial and just enjoyed seeing how I apply my eyeshadow of more of an in-depth step-by-step. And definitely always keep in mind though, when applying eyeliner, make sure to use a mirror because I will say I am pretty quick with my eyeliner, <laughs> but not using a mirror and just looking into the camera and not using a mirror was by far the hardest. I feel like my eyeliner needs to be fixed just a little bit more, but that's okay because at the end of the day, I feel like my makeup looks really nice and 
as always, make sure to check out the video of me unboxing all these products. That was the video that I uploaded last week. If you would like to see all these new on products unbox, I had a great time filming that video for you guys. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right, everyone.